Okay, today I'm going to go over our main A attack on Array. This is a map we played recently, and it's a map which is quite difficult to attack if you don't have good tactics. So I'm going to go over our A attack, which has been refined a bit since our last game on the map. So, five men. What we do is, basically we have two guys to push up through this control room. We have two guys to play around the outside field area. And one guy covers our back from here, so I'll go over it now. At the very start, everyone holds back for grenades. We have three people pushing to the left, the two going through the field, go through to the right. They don't have to worry about grenades, these guys do. Grenades typically land here, to there, to there, or here. So, you want to be playing back this far when grenades are coming down the hill. There's also a grenade down there when they think you're going to push B. So oh, we hold up here, the guy who's covering our backs might play somewhere like here at the start. If he plays here, he can pick off this guy who might be on the top of the jeep or the crane. So if I now clip to that place, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So he might be playing here, or if I keep going further back, he might be standing up on this crane. So the guy who's playing back in this building will be able to pick him off quite easily. Much more easily than the guy up the hill can pick off someone here. Because that guy will be aiming to somewhere like there. Now he can either play that position or he can jump up on this snowmobile. If you go to the far right corner on lane rush, you get just as good a view. Now, after the grenades are coming, assuming the team does throw grenades, this guy has to cover the the other two guys who are going to control him. While he's waiting for grenades to come in, and if there's nobody peeking in that place up there, he wants to keep his eye on the window there, just in case there's any rushers to come up there. Now, after grenades come in, as I said, he's going to throw this smoke. This is going to allow the other two guys to run across. That smoke covers the view of anyone who would be shooting people running across here. So those two guys can run across after the smoke comes out. He'll call when he's thrown the smoke. They'll push across. The two guys are in control room. One will be here leaning left. He's just far back enough that grenades won't affect him, hopefully. But he can also stand up and see into the middle area. Because often teams will try to push someone into that corner there. Or up there. So that's the purpose of this guy. He's just to call out and kill anyone who's in mid. The other guy can just look to the window as well. He can stand up and spam through there if he wants. Now, those two will move on through and I'll explain what they do later on. After this guy's thrown his smoke and those two have pushed through, this guy's main job is to cover the backs of the rest of the attackers, hold up anyone flanking from B. It is important that I mention that one of those two that would be going to control room can also play here at the start just to see if anyone's rushing down the hill. Now, that guy's covering the backs. He might play inside this red house, just hearing if anyone's coming down the hill and covering from here. He can also play from behind this forklift. He can play from these boxes here. But my favourite position is probably playing on this barrel here. If you stand up in this barrel, you can see all the way into that A house. You can see both doors in the A house. You can see downstairs in the control room. And if you lean right, you can see anyone coming down here. So this is an excellent position. Recommend using it every single time you play Ray. This guy has to be covering that area when we go in for the plant on A. He'll be covering the right side of the room. The other guy in the field will be covering the left side of the room. Now you can either cover from there, or somewhere like here, or pushing up even there, which is a bit more risky. So that's just this guy's main role. Obviously he doesn't want to play at the same positions every time and become too predictable. So that's just going to make it easy for the enemy coming down from B to kill him. Now, the guys are going into the control room. They've both pushed in. The second guy is going to stop here, 
And this forklift and lean left to kill any rushers to come through the door, and he's going to hold this door until the first guy is pushing up the stairs. Just to cover from any flankers. The first guy pushes up the stairs, and he stops around here, covering anyone coming through this door. When he gets to here, the second guy will push up from his position there. And this is where we do some wild bank spots. So, the second guy, while the first guy is covering him, the second guy will push to here. Leans right, aims just above where that circular vent is, and spams there. Another spam spot is when it comes to here. He stands just where this crate lines up with, and aims about there. Now, you can test these spams yourself. The first one I showed will kill anyone who's defending the door from here. Standing up, of course, you won't be able to kill them if they're lying down. And the second spam spot will kill anyone who's defending from here. So these are two useful spam spots. You can do more, but those are the important ones. The second guy who came upstairs and did the spam should be carrying a smoke grenade. The first guy should be throwing flashbangs. Now, the first guy will probably want to flash into this room. Check that corner. Bunny hop around, flash into that room and try and kill anyone if the spam hasn't killed them. Then the first guy will hold up here. The most important job of these guys playing control room is to just hold that window. Once this window is held, the guys down on A know that they don't have to worry about this window area. So there's no point in pushing your guy any further up there. Unless, well, for the sake of argument, they just bunny hop you every time in pre-fire and they know it's too obvious of a position but other than that there's no real reason of pushing beyond this door because the only job of these guys is to cover that window. Now in the meantime the second guy is going to be covering this door from any flankers. If we request smoke grenades down on A site this guy will run up here and he's just going to throw smoke grenade out the window, better than that, like so. The bomb planter will ask exactly where it should go. First guy is of course covering him as he throws that smoke. Afterwards he pushes back this position and he may even play back in a position like here or here when the bomb is down. So that's the job of those two guys. Of course, if people have been taken out, out in the field, they may have to push up to the window and peek someone on A house. But that's not part of the tactic. Okay, now the two guys who play field. The first guy, Star Chief pushes in here as fast as he can. And he stops about here and he aims, just he leans left and he aims here kill anyone who rushes to say the forklift behind that wall or lying down on the barrels to be able to pick them off. Most teams will put a guy up there so you don't want to peek so much that you can be hit seen from there or there. We don't need to take those guys out yet but we would like to know if there's anyone hiding in one of these corners there so that's the job of this guy. Just has to come here at the start notice if there's anyone coming there. Afterwards he plays back comes back into position. Afterwards, while the bomb planter is moving around the side of the map, this guy is just looking up to this alley in case anyone's flanking down from there. He doesn't have to look to that entrance yet. Until the guy on the right calls for grenades and smokes, this guy's job is just to hold there, that angle. The bomb planter, which is normally myself, comes out here at the start, all the way up here. This was a great place because you can see into all these places which people from there would normally be aiming or people from there. Sometimes you'll be able to get a pic of someone standing up on this concrete block or at the jeep from somewhere like here. If they're there, they're going to be aiming somewhere like there. And they will not see you here. So I've gotten a few pics playing here as well. He may also, instead of doing that, can come as fast as you can up to here and just pre-fire like so in there. 
if he, if he gets a reasonable spawn and comes here as soon as he can and just does that, he'll be able to start shooting before the A guy can get into your side of the room and you might be able to get an easy kill. Now, after you've done either of those two things, he pushes along here, checks the window. All this is done very precautiously. Climb is up here, checks again. Bunning across. This is one of the dangerous places. This is why we have someone checking to the middle of the start because sometimes when we did this attack there'd be someone playing there or there who would pick off this guy. Whereas now we have those places checked at the start. Now after he does that, he's checking there. He's moving across here. His teammate who's over there is still covering up here. This guy creeps across here. And he's going to end up here. Then when he gets here, he's going to call to this guy to do a grenade and a smoke. Now I'll show those now. So the grenade first. You put, tug yourself into this corner here, you'll be stuck. Take your gun out, aim here, jump and throw a frag. And it goes in here and that will kill anyone in most positions. Now the smoke afterwards. It's quite simple, you aim where the sun's light is coming from, jump and throw again. Then as soon as he throws that smoke, he aims to this door. Of course, if the guy is dead, well, then he doesn't need to aim there. Dead from the grenade, I mean. If he's dead, he can keep looking there. If, if he hasn't killed anyone, if he's got a hit mark, or if he just hasn't got any hit marks, but there's no one dead in there, he'll keep aiming here. This guy who was over here with the bomb is going to run across. Bunny here, lie down and plant. Now there will be smoke, as I said, around here. So that will be covering the plant from their spawn. This guy is aiming to the left side of that room. The guy back in the barrel is aiming to the right side of the room. And the window should be covered from the two guys who are upstairs. Of course if the first guy who's upstairs gets taken down by a defender, the second guy will take up his position. And the guy down there will have to worry about any flankers coming from downstairs. The bomb will go down like so. Afterwards, the guy may decide, the bomb planter may decide to push into this room if that guy's dead. Play somewhere like here. Or play behind this tree. Playing behind this tree is difficult because if someone creeps up to here on lanes right, they can see you before you see them. And playing here, if you're going to play in this position, don't play here. Don't play at the very corner because someone can just lean right there, play in the middle of the jeep. Bomb go down, and we all defend from our positions. So it's a pretty straightforward attack with some nice grenades. Which pretty much has every area they're likely to try counter us from covered. So I think it's a pretty effective attack, and if you practice it, with all your teammates you should find it very successful too.